Before the video starts, I just want you guys to know that this is a process. I just want you to see the process that goes through remote tuning, the rough cold starts, like the car not starting. It's part of the process. This is not the final tune, so I don't want it to look like admin tuning is a bad tune or anything. The tune's still going through the works, and this is still the 93. And we ran into some issues along the way, not even tuning wise, just with Soho's part as well. So I just don't want you guys to have like a bad tasting rough, like, oh, admin tuning can't even get your car to run right. Like, no, like it's a remote tuning. So it's going to take a while to adjust, especially when he's not actually here to see the car. But without further ado, enjoy the video. All that's left is just wait for the remote tune so we can start it tomorrow. Make sure there's no leaks. I have a base map on it. We'll be taking her for our first drive tomorrow, hopefully. We'll just have to set up the dyno tune, but we'll be able to drive it. So, super excited. Can't wait to see how it goes. Can't wait to hear. It's been like four months, basically. Everything's finally on. Just need to get a different guard, something that has a filter on it. Got new tires for the rear. New tires for the rear. Some 285s. So, hopefully everything goes well. Scary as fuck, the car started revving up by itself. Watch your yeah. camp. Camp looks good still. Let's, uh, let's kill this thing. Let's check the uh, I didn't remember plugging up the injectors. Like the individual ones, yes, but not the big one. Yeah. And I was all like, man, I bet you money I did not plug that up. At Thanks. least the fueling part's fine. Yeah, I didn't see no fuel leaks. I see it. I barely see it, but yeah, it's it's full. It's full. The other one was red. Yeah, it's it's cool. I guess the supercharger is a little noisy. So we are about to go data log the car. Concept wants me to have an idling, a first through fourth gear up to 4,000 RPM, and a 40 to 70 mile per hour under 50% throttle pull. We had some issues trying to turn it on because we forgot to plug in the main main wire for the injectors. I would film the data log, but I don't have my GoPro with me, unfortunately. And I mean, it's not gonna be anything crazy. I'm not doing full throttle. Sure that she is driving. So I just did the first little data log. The only thing is I just need to get the temp up because it needs to be at operating temperature. Everything feels good so far with the remote tuning process. I just gotta get that temp up. The issue is it's like 58 degrees out. So I have to like let this thing like sit and idle or something. Today is day two. In another data log for Monsef. This time I'll have another phone with me to record the tuning process. Uh, just gonna double check everything. We're making sure the coolant is the correct level. The oil was fine. There's no air pockets in the coolant. Some more gas in it tonight. Make sure the fuel gauge is working correctly. Everything went pretty well last night, no issues. Finally get to see how this thing pulls from a third gear. It's not like a second gear, but I'll still feel the top end on it all the way to red line. Then we'll be done with that data log and we'll send it to him. And then Godzilla right there. If you guys ever need any service, it's your guy right here. Turn the ignition off.
can do actually do a pull safely, idle the first through fourth, and then a full throttle pull third gear from 3,000 RPM to red line. Just getting some gas now. And then gonna do our data log. Hopefully everything goes well. The check engine light right now is because of like fuel level, uh, fuel temperature sensor. There's two of them not plugged in, so that's why the check engine light's on right now. And hopefully, you get a nice clean pull, nothing bad happens. I hope the longer the car runs, the better it's been idling. So, we have a small issue the blow off valve is like cutting on and off. It's the 21, it's gonna be a 20 with the 70. All right, day three. So we got the belt. Thankfully, O'Reilly's had the belt, just had to wait till today to get it. We're on the way with the belt. We also kind of rerouted some things just to make the engine bay a little bit more clean. Hopefully this time the belt doesn't slip. Well, not slip, just doesn't tear. Still mad that Soho doesn't send proper instructions, but I did find a video that one of my followers sent me on how to set up a cog setup on the Stillen supercharger kit. So I'm sure it applies to this as well. For any of you guys that are doing the same thing as me, you won't have these issues that I'm running into. So I will see you guys at the shop whenever we get the, get the belt on and turn on the car again. All right, be like, hey, this is hell. Let me know when you want me to move it again. Uh, I got quite a bit of slop in it apparently. So. Try that. Yeah, it's why I'm having to push it harder, but yeah. Well, you're supposed yeah. to. You're supposed to be able to slide it, but it's not too fucking loose. Move it to both edges, but I can't walk it off. Mm -hmm. And what keeps it centered is the this pulley down here. And if you do, damn if you don't. If you over tighten it, it shreds the bill. Well, this under... is, right now, this is a lot better than it was. Yeah. Because there ain't, I can't stick my fingers yeah. under yeah. that no more. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I like that a lot better. Yeah, I shouldn't have to turn it with a, a little ratchet down right. there. And I'm turning it with a ratchet, and it already feels hard on the ratchet. If you can turn it by hand, I think it needs to come off a little bit. You know, it's. I just don't understand this. Well, there should well, be a way better. Crank it up because we we're tightening it on that side of the belt. So let's bust it off and let everything equalize and see what we got right now. guys saw as we're checking it adjusting it i'm gonna do some normal driving i'm gonna check the belt i'm not gonna go all the way to red line because i don't know what monsef wants me to do because it's the weekend i'm gonna drive it more aggressive just to put some boost on the belt and then i'm gonna check it again and see if it's moving around then we'll take it back check it again as long as it's been fine then it should be good so driving it normal not to pull over check the, turn off the car check the belt see if it's still the same check it one more time then i'll drive it more aggressive and then i'm going to check it after that let's have a little look and still move it around up here i just can't really yeah it's still sliding good I can't really push it up here because it's too fucking hot. But over here, it's still sliding. All right, so everything seems fine right now. So I'm gonna drive it. Well, she ran a little rich, I guess. Okay. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. 
what the fuck, bro? I literally had to give it gas to start. Okay, just check the belt. Hopefully everything's fine. explain how you route the twin pumps and the fuel relays and then any like issues you might come across with the soho kit so what we did is we put the relays close to the battery away from the fuel tank and got these relay kits somebody had them wired differently and they had the relays down by the tank so what we did was we put in these 30 amp fuses directly off the battery for the power for the relays. We grounded the relays directly to the battery. Then we ran both the power wires from the relays all the way down into the cubby hole. Down the trim pieces around here, behind the covers and into the fuel pump. Once we did that, we used the factory power feed and ran an extra wire all the way up back to here to engage the relay. So when you power on the car, it's sending the power back there to the factory wire, which engages the relays, which then feeds the power from the heavier gauge power to the fuel pumps. Pretty much how we wired it up, works like a champ. The issues that we ran into with the sole kit, the key that they gave us for the pulley on the back of the head unit was too long. And what was happening is the bolt and the washer wouldn't flip flush against the pulley. So we ended up having, I don't know if they sent us the wrong length or what, we ended up having to cut it and to the right length to allow the bolt and the washer to sit flush on the pulley. That was one of our issues. Missing a couple T fittings for some vacuum lines. The fitment was okay. We had uh, some issues, some tight fitting issues. No matter how much I moved this um, piping, it's still hitting the head unit right here where the tow burger guard is. What I think happened is one of their welds when they were in a, welding it up in their jig and their assembly is it moved a little bit on them. So, cause I'm hitting the frame right here, this pipe will not move anymore. So the fitment's not the best on this one. Um, you just have to kind of play around with it, but we ended up getting it, um, getting it all. Everything seems to be fine. Just some more things to work out. Oil temp's been great. Taking the car about 10 miles to my dad's house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it, put it in the garage, leave it there till uh, next week when I get another flash, come back over here, flash it, and go from there. So we'll have another video. Uh, I feel like this is a good ending part. This, I guess this will be one, part one of a two part series remote tuning with admin tuning and the soho kit and i really hope you guys enjoyed it sorry this took forever you guys are kind of experiencing the process with me uh just running real rich which is fine like i'd rather run rich than lean so can't wait to actually be able to floor it i don't even care about the power at this point i'm just happy to have my z back it's been four months just happy to have it back i just love hearing the blow off valve like 
uh, just it's so exciting. I'm, like nervous as I drive it, just kind of waiting for something to go wrong. But, I mean, everything's been kind of good so far. You know, I had to clean her up. It's been four months since she's had a bath. Almost said four years, but four months. So honestly, just taking it all in, just happy to have my car back. Supercharger on top of it. So, I mean, still hasn't fully hit me. I'm still kind of nervous because I just, I don't know, I don't want anything to go wrong with it. But I don't really care about much power, honestly. I'm just trying to just have good, reliable power and just enjoy the car at this point. The scene is in Mexico of how crazy it's gotten, how they're taking people's cars, even if they just suspect you of racing, it's just not worth it. So that's not saying that there won't be racing content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next video and we'll keep you updated. Be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram if you want to stay up to date more or see more things in the car that's not on YouTube. All right, we'll see you guys later. Let's see if she starts on the first try. <laughs> nope.